Oh, if you look here, we have the Michael Jackson estate working mm. in their natural habitat. What day is it? Oh shit. It's the announcement day. Hmm. Who is this person? Wait, where do I even work? Oh yes, the MJ estate. Sorry, I fell asleep on the job. Oh yeah, today's the big announcement. Oh shit. Now, let's look through and see what to release. Hmm. Hmm. What to release? What to release? Oh. Well, we've already scrapped Dangerous 25. We've already done Bad Era. Hmm. Let's revisit Thriller Era. Yes, that's right. Look. Thriller Era. You know what? Let's make an anime short film. I like that idea. I really, really do like that idea of making an animated short film. Hmm. Maybe 77 Jackson Street. Hey, what is up guys? Hayden Juan here, and today I'll be talking about this guy. Now, if you've probably seen on Facebook or on the official Michael Jackson website, there is the big announcement. Now, I waited two nights for this announcement, and let me just say, it was disappointing, to say the least. As you can see, if you read this article, it's about this new Michael Jackson thriller inspired animation short. Now this short has two characters and a dog, I don't know, probably pandering to little kids or probably to just younger fans. Anywho, it's about a hotel on 777 Jackson Street and it includes an animated dance short at the end featuring Michael. Now, was this the big, big announcement? Yes, I'm not kidding you. It is a big announcement. And what makes this big? Well, that's the question. What makes it big? <sighs> now, us, as a Michael Jackson fan for eight years, I've seen the estate promote Thriller 25, Bad 25, Yabble Michael, and Escape. Now, Michael was a bit shabby, so I'm not going to mention that. Thriller 25 was, it was dismal, but it was, it was getting towards there. But... Bad 25 was where it's at. You had Bad Remastered, the whole album, the second disc, full of unreleased material and demos, and three, Live at Wembley. It was probably the best thing that the Michael Jackson estate has ever done in 2012. Now, what they did was for Michael was, uh, it was questionable. They included two of the Casio tracks, and they did include some recontemporizations of some songs, such as um, Hollywood Tonight, um, I Like the Way, How You Love Me or Hold Me, that song, and um, I Can't Make It Another Day, which was originally a demo. However, they recontemporized that to make that into an album. And then Escape was pretty good. You had the Dulux edition, which had a, a disc of all the recontemporized songs, and the second disc full of the original demos. And I think if you got the iTunes version, it had the Escape documentary and outtakes, both of which were um, pretty good in terms of promotion material. <sighs> Fast track forward to 2017. No new album. Not even for Dangerous 25, which was a bummer. It was considered a online celebration posted with Black or White, Who Is It, and Remember the Time, I think. Not even Remember the Time. Black or White, and Who Is It. And Who Is It has that weird rectangular crop. I mean, no one really asked for an online celebration. We wanted a new album. Oh my. 
This is how Dangerous 25 should have been done. Number one. This number one. Dangerous. The whole album remastered. In fact, maybe I should do it myself. I should have a late Dangerous 25 celebration. Anywho. Dangerous. This one. Remastered. This two. Full of unreleased demos. And, um... Yeah, and just Dangerous Sessions. Like, if you don't love me, do you know where your children are? Someone put your hand out. Cheetah, monkey business. Even um, even I've got a fan-made version, which has all the demos, all the unreleased songs, and even the Pepsi commercials, such as the Black and White jingle and the I'll Be There jingle. And even Lisa, It's Your Birthday from the um, Simpsons episode, Stark Raving Dad. Why can't you do that? So that's this two. This three, you should put a concert. In my fan-made version, there's Buenos Aires, I think that's how you pronounce it. Buenos Aires in 19, 1993 Dangerous World Tour. You could even, you know, pick already released material on YouTube. Such as Bremen, maybe Oslo, if you can release that. Thank you very much. Oslo, Bre- um, I've already said Bremen. London, even Paris, Bucharest. But in terms of Bucharest, the unedited edition as opposed to the edited edition. Monza, you can choose anything. Even Japan, Life at Tokyo Dome. That was pretty good. But what can you do, MJ Estate? Seriously. You you were trusted with Michael to help sustain his legacy throughout his whole entire musical career. But in doing so, you're kind of failing us. Now, the bi- I'm not... Ha. I really hope that this announcement is just a gateway to other big announcements. Surely, I don't. I don't. To be honest, I don't mind the thrill. Um, the thriller shot, the animated shot. I think it's a good idea. However, there's got to be more than that. There's got to be more than an animated shot that us fans have been waiting for. Surely, I was looking through the cast list, and there was some questionable casting such as um, Jim Parsons, the actor for The Big Bang Theory. I'm not sure if he'll be acting the animated dog or the um, or the main male character. However, I don't take him seriously as an actor due to his affiliation with Big, Big Bang Theory and Sheldon. I've seen him watch him act in Home, and all I could think about was Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. <sighs> Honestly, the estate. I've got to be honest with you. Please, please listen to us fans because at the end of the day, we are buying your product. This man, the Michael Jackson image, we're buying it just for him. We're us as fans, we, we like this guy. We obviously adore this person and that as your state, you got to up your game, honestly. I, I, even some MJ fans, they, they put more work than you do in some projects. Honestly, a new album, even a fan could do it. You know, grab a disc or grab the digital MP3 files, even make a set list, like a fake set list, a fan made set list. For example, I'll make one right now. This album will be called, hmm, we're just going to call it Moonwalk, just for simplicity sakes. Alright, Moonwalk. It will have eight tracks, and it will be full of unreleased content. Well, not really unreleased, just not heard of, or just um, not heard of remixes that have been released, I don't know, in the 80s or 90s. So, here we go. We've got Slave to the Rhythm, original version. Um... Escape, the 2002 version, um, the original release. We've got Smooth Criminal, original version. Not the Moonwalker version, but the original version with the um, extended second verse. We've got This Is It, the original demo. So that's four already. Look, I'm already halfway and I'm not even trying. We've got um, What About Us, the Earth Song demo. We've also got Cheetah, Monkey Business. This is... This is awfully sounding like a Dangerous 25 
album. Anywho, we've already got five. Um, what else is a song that no one has heard of? Well, the regular fans haven't heard of. Um, we'll throw in some... We'll throw in Billie Jean, the original multi-track mix. Black or White, the original multi-track mix. And one more. We'll put in the Thriller Mega Mix, the extended version, the, the full one, not the radio edit. See, I've already compiled a basic eight eight track album. Now, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not happy of that album track list, but you see the point where it's just easy, just pulling songs and putting it into the album. <sighs> what else can I say? I don't know. That's just my thoughts on the MJ Estate. Big announcement and what they should be doing to fix... I don't know, that's just my thoughts on the MJ Estate at this moment in time in terms of the big announcement. Hope you enjoy, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.